Let's get him. Let's do another video. I see that. Really? What do you want? What are you doing? Oh my god, everybody get the fuck out. <laughs> You guys have been asking me on Twitter to do a thriller recommendation video, so I figured since it is October, it's the perfect time for this video. So without further ado, let us get started. The first thriller that I have is called Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. I have a full review of it if you're interested in checking out my full thought. This book is basically like a YA thriller. This book follows a girl named Anna who is on spring break with a bunch of her friends and then her best friend ends up being brutally murdered and everybody thinks that Anna is the killer. So the whole premise is basically her trying to clear her name throughout the entire book and it's from past and present during the trial as well as during the vacation and it's basically trying to like get you to figure out who the murderer actually is. I loved this book. I gave it a five out of five stars. I did not see the ending coming. It blew my mind. It had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. If you're not really into like thrillers that get your like heart pumping and like scare you then this is definitely a good option because it's not scary at all it's just like entertaining. The next book that I have for this recommendation video is Never Let You Go by Chevy Stevens. I recently read this book again I have a full review if you're interested. But I give it a five out of five stars. It follows a girl named Lindsay Nash who ran away from her abusive marriage 11 years ago with her young daughter Sophie. Now Andrew's out of jail and Lindsay is very hesitant. She thinks that he is coming back to haunt her. She is very scared after a break-in at her house and she thinks that Andrew is not going to stop until she is dead. This book literally blew my mind. I thought I had the whole thing figured out in my head. I was basically like, yeah, like this is the whole plot line. I know exactly what's going on. I know who's stalking her, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, nope completely like threw me for a loop. I'm pretty good at predicting plot twists and endings and things like that but this book threw me for a complete loop. I had no idea what was going on half the time because it makes you think one thing and then completely switches two seconds later. So I definitely recommend this if you're into psychological thrillers. The next book that I have on this list is The Couple Next Door by Sherry LaPena. This book follows a couple who decides to go to a dinner party at their neighbor's house. Once they return they find that their newborn daughter is missing from her crib and basically the whole story is them trying to figure out where the daughter is, who took her. I absolutely loved the writing of this book. It had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. I was flipping through the pages needing to know what happened next. Definitely did not see the twist coming. Totally had a completely different story in my head of what was going on. All the books that I recommend are usually ones where I can't see the ending coming because I absolutely hate when I can see the ending. The next book that I have is Room by Emma Donahue and this book follows a woman who got kidnapped many years ago and she ends up having her son in this room that the kidnapper keeps her in. It's basically told from a five-year-old's perspective and he is living his life in this room where he doesn't know anything else other than the room and it is such a thrilling story. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. And also if you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend you watch the movie because it's hecka good. The next book that I have is another YA thriller so it is a good option if you're not into like the spooky psychological thrillers that mess with your head and it is I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga. I have a review of this one as well if you're interested in my full thoughts. It's weird because you don't expect to laugh in a book where there's a lot of killing but I found this book hilarious. It's about a boy named Jazz whose father is a very famous serial killer and he's worried that he is going to turn out like his father because he's starting to get urges that his father taught him about when he was younger. I just thought it was a really good thriller if you're not into like scary thrillers. The next book that I have is Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I highly recommend listening to it on audiobook because it was really good. It follows a girl named Samantha who gets kidnapped with her best friend only she escapes and she ends up losing her memory. Everybody telling her how she was as a person and she doesn't feel that way anymore and she's trying to piece her life back together now that she escaped. Her best friend Cassie is still missing and everybody wants her to try to remember what happened that night in order to find Cassie. This is another YA thriller so it's very tame compared to the psychological thrillers that I've talked about so far. I highly recommend it if you're not into like the gory aspect of thrillers. Then the final book is a book that I'm pretty sure like nobody has heard of because it's 
one that I went off of Goodreads a long, 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 long time ago, but it is Red Julie by J.A. Whiting. This book follows a girl named Olivia Miller who lives with her Aunt Aggie after the death of her parents when she was one years old. One night, Olivia's aunt ends up having a heart attack while out biking late at night, and her death is deemed an accident. Shortly after her graduation, Olivia moves back home and comes across a car accident where the victim is visibly distressed. The one thing that he keeps repeating over and over again is Red Julie, and then he ends up dying. When the facts of his death come forth in the media, it is obvious that this is a murder, and she is convinced that Aggie is somehow connected to this man. It's basically the story of her trying to figure out what happened to her aunt and what Red Julie means. This book was so good, I did not expect to like it as much as I did. It had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. I just really wanted to know how the two were connected and like what the heck Red Julie meant. It's also another one that isn't very like scary. It's more like thrilling and exciting than anything so I highly recommend it again if you're not into like scary things. Alright guys so that was my thriller recommendation video. Hopefully you find one that you're interested in. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!